Hi, we're having a lot of fun here at the Infertility Channel. I want to thank you for joining in. And uh, I have a great question from a young man. I assume he's young by his question. His name is Lucas from Flagstaff, Arizona. Lucas says, I am a techie and I read somewhere recently computers can actually pick the best embryo. Is this true? And are these being used already? In response to Lucas's question, I pulled an article and I'm going to break this down for you. I'm going to rely more today on the articles than I typically do. I usually quote these things, but this is a technical article and I just thought I'd read you some excerpts and maybe do the translation where necessary. Clearly Lucas wouldn't need the translation, but I would. So uh, the title of this article is Improving Embryo Selection Using a Computer Automated Time-Lapse Image Analysis Test Plus Day 3 Morphology Results from a Prospective Multicenter Trial. I'm worn out by the title. I'm going to take a nap. No, just kidding. Uh, so what does that mean? Well, five centers came together and they use this computer program, not an iPad. It's called the EVA, E-E-V-A system. The EVA system, this time-lapse system, and it fits right into a standard incubator, by the way, but they use time-lapse imaging. So after uh, the eggs were harvested and the sperm and eggs were put together, they took an image every five minutes for three days. And so they wanted to see if the computer could assist the embryologist in picking out those day three embryos that are most likely to go on to the fifth day stage, the blastocyst stage. We know that blastocysts give you a better chance for pregnancy. And so if we can pick out the best embryos by some uh, software parameter, so if we come up with a program that says, this embryo by meeting its benchmarks hour by hour or minute by minute by minute is most likely to develop into a baby. And that's not really the study yet, but if, if we can do that, down the road, then embryologists will be able to use that tool to have better prediction of which embryo becomes a healthy baby. So the objective here was to assess the first computer automated platform for time-lapse image analysis and blastocyst prediction. And it turns out they found by using standard techniques of just looking at the embryos and seeing which ones are the most beautiful, the, the most symmetrical, and uh, the ones that are divided most evenly, three embryologists uh, with the EVA system, there was an 86% versus a 59.7% uh, prediction rate. Uh, so the EVA system was better than the first embryologist. 84% uh, versus 42% with respect to the second, and 87 versus 80% with respect to the third embryologist. I want to fast forward here to the conclusion. Overall, the current results showed that EVA to traditional day three morphology significantly improved the ability of experienced embryologists to predict the usable blastocyst outcomes and reduce the variability among embryologists. In other words, this is going to be a powerful tool to put every great embryologist on the same level. It's going to be very helpful, we think, in predicting the future of embryo development. So that's it for today. I want to thank you, Lucas from Flagstaff. That was a great question. So Lucas, if you'd like to get a copy of this article for yourself, it is from Fertility and Sterility, Volume 100, Number 2, August 2013. Thanks so much for the question and thank you all for joining us today. See you back next week here on the Infertility Channel. Be sure to share this video with your friends and subscribe to catch all new episodes each week here on the Infertility Channel. Plus, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. I love hearing from you. Comment below or tell me what you want to see on future episodes by sending me an email to comments at infertilitychannel.org. Until next week.